Support for today's video comes from Manscaped, the best in men's below-the-waist grooming. Use code TIFO at checkout to get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. Every Saturday afternoon during the football season, the Premier League comes to life and fans from all over the world sit down to watch the 3pm kickoffs. Everywhere that is, apart from Britain, where supporters are not allowed to watch 3pm games on television. But why not? Well, this relates to a little-known piece of UEFA legislation known as Article 48, which grants domestic football associations the right to prevent football matches from being shown on television between a particular time. And it's little-known legislation because nobody uses the right it grants, apart from the English FA, who, since the 1960s, have prohibited the showing of games between 2.45pm and 5.15pm on Saturday with the only exception being the FA Cup final. It's a strange quirk. The modern-day Premier League was very much at the vanguard of television's new football era, and yet every right steal struck over the past 30 years has to navigate what's known as the Saturday blackout. So why does it even exist? Well, for starters, why it was introduced and why it remains are two different questions. 60 years ago, Football League chairmen were, ironically, given how much they'd come to depend on it, afraid of television. They argued that broadcasting games would dissuade supporters from attending them in person, and would ultimately damage attendances. Some of the men behind that belief do not bear much scrutiny, but their logic wasn't hard to follow. In an era before broadcasting contracts, shirt sponsors and even pitch-side advertising, gate receipts were a football club's primary source of income. Understandable as the fear may have been, though, there has never been any definitive proof of a link between rising television audiences and falling attendance. Between 1960 and 1986, average attendances across all professional leagues fell incrementally and consistently from 16,009 to a low of 8,132. But that had little to do with television and more to do with decrepit, and inhospitable facilities in stadiums and the rising prevalence of hooliganism in and around them. And there's also no correlation in the years since. In fact, since 1986, in a period which encompasses the conception of the Premier League in 1992 and the great growth in football on television thereafter, average attendances across all divisions steadily rose from 8,132 to a pre-pandemic high of 16,168 in 2019. Most likely, again, that had little to do with television. Stadiums have been rebuilt and renovated, the matchday experience has changed, and the demographics have shifted. The demand for live football has grown, and while television money has facilitated that with the investment it's allowed, television itself has had little proven effect on the willingness to buy a ticket and attend a game. So there's nothing in the trend which suggests that television harms attendances. But then nobody can be quite certain either that expanding the broadcasting agreement and abolishing the Saturday blackout wouldn't have an impact somewhere. England is on its own in employing the right to a blackout. But then its structure is different. Its pyramid of clubs is four divisions deep and uniquely large. In addition to which, quite unlike other countries such as Germany and France, little effort is made to stagger the kickoff times between the different competitions. In Germany, for instance, the Zweite Bundesliga occupies early evening slots on a Friday, early afternoon and late evening on a Saturday, and early afternoon on a Sunday. There is very little fixture overlap with the Bundesliga itself, with its games starting at late times on Fridays and Sundays and mid-afternoon and early evening on a Saturday. All of the games from both leagues are televised every weekend, and there is no blackout rule. But then there's less of a need for one. Conversely, while English Premier League games are played in several different time slots across a weekend, plenty of games still begin at 3pm on a Saturday. As do the vast majority of games from the three football league divisions below, as well as nearly every non-league fixture contested. It is a single block of football, and nobody is quite sure what television might do to the matchday habits it involves, or to the future generations of ground-going fans it helps to breed. For all intents and purposes then, in a rather strange way, British football has the same fears that it had all those years ago. Without really knowing what effect television might have on the classic 3pm kickoff, and with no truly relevant case studies to call upon, it retains its distrust of television, 
rightly or wrongly, and remains unable to reach a consensus on whether the Saturday blackout really is outdated. Until that changes, one of English football's biggest idiosyncrasies will continue to survive. Today's video was sponsored by Manscaped, the best in men's below-the-waist grooming. See the Lawn Mower 4.0. It features a cutting-edge ceramic blade to reduce those grooming accidents. Plus, it's waterproof. There's also the Weed Whacker, Manscaped's nose and ear hair trimmer, providing proprietary skin-safe technology. Join 2 million men worldwide and get 20% off plus free shipping with the code TIFO at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code TIFO at manscaped.com.